Hey everyone, Gregory Petrosian here, Director of Sales at SkyPoint Cloud. We're here to talk about why privacy compliance is an important factor in your data governance framework. Back in 2018, GDPR was first introduced. In 2020, the CCPA was enacted here in the States. Everybody was freaking out about what are the implications these privacy compliance laws are gonna have on our business and our processes for all these years. It's been pretty much brushed under the rug. And now that we are seeing enforcement start to take action, we're starting to see more privacy compliance infractions. So I want to talk to you about how we can mitigate your risk around privacy compliance. At its roots, privacy compliance and data sensitivity really comes down to how have you architected your data infrastructure at your organization, and also what is the governance framework that continually provides the care and feeding to make sure that your data and your data architecture is curated to your business's needs. Privacy compliance should be a core part of how you map sensitive data and how you create ways to keep that sensitive data secure and compliant. The three components for privacy compliance that you should have covered are automation, your workflow process, and auditability. Creating some automation data pipelines or anonymization of data allows you to reduce the cost of managing your data. It's unrealistic to have a human go in and anonymize data in a you know, routine, repeatable fashion. What is realistic for somebody to do manually is to go and delete records. Now, that's not valuable for the organization. Aside from checking the box for the privacy compliances, now you've lost all that data that you can be providing rich analytics or aggregated analytics around. You can still be compliant by anonymizing data. You do not have to delete this data to be in compliance. That's the difference. Now that you have this automation, rather than the deleting, we can anonymize. And so we cannot pin that data to that specific consumer, but we can ensure that their sensitive information is no longer stored within our databases or anywhere within our data infrastructure. You want to make sure that you have the right records that you're either deleting or anonymizing. It is the right reason you're doing it for this consumer. And you have a workflow path that allows you to show, hey, where are we in the pipeline with what we're doing with this person's DSR request or data subject request. Without a workflow tool, it's very hard to do this in a productive and efficient manner. Arguably, the most important component is auditability. Prove to me that you've actually taken these steps or actions and provide an automated way or report for the authorities to be able to confirm what you've done and to be able to pr prove to the consumer when and where, how, and who has done that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned on Data Trends. I would also love it if you leave a comment below about how your organization is addressing privacy compliance and if any of our suggestions were helpful.